Hey everybody, and welcome to my vlog. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. <laughs> um, there's not really much to talk about this week. There's plenty to talk about. Uh, first, let's address, yes, I did do my makeup. Um, this time, I didn't use the Fenty foundation. I actually used my Maybelline. Um, I'm going to continue to use the Fenty. Um, I found it goes on really dark, but not really dark. It goes on semi-dark. Let me readjust. <clears throat> um, the Fenty goes on fairly dark. Um, not super dark and it does oxidize a bit and um, I feel like um, it does eventually match my skin tone and um, it does look nice but I feel like it's a little it's like it's probably a shade too dark um, so um, I'm gonna probably once this bottle is um, done I'll get shade matched again or I'll get shade matched beforehand so I can make sure that I'm actually getting the right shade. Um, uh, and that's with that. Um, I did my makeup today because I felt like it. I used the Maybelline um, foundation. It's the fancy lip gloss that I'm wearing. Um, some mascara and um, a couple of different shades of eye shadow. Try to do a bootleg wing. <laughs> Um, it's not really a wing. I just kind of like kind of let it flare out a little bit um, That's that um, I attempted to do a little bit of the the highlighting stuff It's it's a little bit there, but um, I got a natural glow <laughs> I gave myself a little bit of my um my clay mask facial last night and exfoliated really well and cleaned up you know my hairs and everything on the face and everything so that's that the other thing what did I say was I just thought it was really funny because um it's nothing official of course it's just on the rumor mill at the place um, of employment and it was just it was just funny to me it's just the topic of hair and um the lengths that people will go to it seems to try and make you uncomfortable or just to see like how many buttons they can push to um, bring you to a place of of like not being comfortable. So um, basically, um, so the person says to me, "Have they said to you that you have to put your hair up in a ponytail or you have to cut it?" Because that's what they told me. I'm like, no, no one's told me that. And um, I'm gonna wear my hair down if I want to. Um, I don't take care of patients. <laughs> so my hair is not gonna be falling in anybody's face. Um, if I'm doing, if I was doing, I don't do patient care, so. Like, why is my hair a problem for you? I don't understand. The other topic I wanted to um, kind of sort of address, I mean, it's not a, it's, it's obviously, it's like almost a week into it and it's not a new topic. Um, I'm uh, the daughter of two Haitian immigrants and um, when I heard the comments um, that um, the president made in reference to people from Haiti, we're called Haitians by the way, um, that's dedicated to that um, news anchor that didn't know that people from Haiti are called Haitians, you know, and um, El Salvador and some of those um, countries from Africa. Um, you know, those countries, um, I can only speak for, for my country. Um, I was born here. I'm a U.S. citizen by birth. But both my parents are um, were born in Haiti. They both became U.S. citizens in um, probably in the last, not the last few years, probably in the last 20 years. Um, they came here in the 70s. Anyway, my parents are very hardworking people, and um, in in their contribution to the American society, they are taxpayers. They are hard workers. They've um, brought up their four children to the best of their ability. None of us have been to jail. Um, 
you know we're all um also you know contributing members to society meaning we work we're not mooching off of the government like, my parents work really hard to bring us in the right way um i had made a post um a few days ago on facebook in reference to this and my parents raised us with the traditional like haitian american three l's l'église l'école la caille that means we go to church we go to school and we go home i mean uh, you know that was the way that they understood and how they felt comfortable in raising their kids and i think they did a damn good job of it my parents country was the first free black nation in the west hemisphere and they fought for their freedom they were uh, they were slaves and they realized in that they didn't that they were not meant to be slaves and they fought for their freedom and they gained their freedom yes they're not the country is not in the best place right now but to refer it in such a nasty way it's just absolutely disrespectful um, all I know is that I have a lot of friends that are not Haitians and they are of different cultures, white, um, black American, Hispanic, um, Europeans. It's, it's, you know, it just boggles my mind that we have a leader that is sitting there and just saying whatever comes out of his face and he thinks that it's okay. Um, it's not about being politically correct. It's just about having respect for people. If you don't have respect for people, then how can I see you as a, the leader of this free world, this of this free country that is supposed to be so great when you're so disrespectful? I don't understand. Um, I am a contributing member of society in that I do participate in voting. Um, and not just for the presidential elections, but for local elections as well. I, um, I, I, my, my advice to all my friends and family is to make sure that you use your vote and you, that vote will express how you feel um, and how you expect your, your city, your county, your state, your country to be run because to be so disrespectful to just a certain group of people it, it's 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 saddening when when i heard it i was like i like i didn't understand it's like it was almost like i wasn't surprised because he had already revealed his true self a long time ago but um it still hurts you know because i know like my community all the you know whether it's my parents my aunts my uncles you know they were a hard-working people that that try and um and succeed they're not just a bunch of poor people that came from a little country that you think is insignificant and didn't contribute anything i have friends and family that are doctors that are lawyers engineers Teachers, these teachers are teaching your kids math, science, English. Um, they're they 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 are musicians out there. They are so talented and they give so much to this country. But to say that you don't, why like why would we want to accept people from shithole countries like that to classify? To, to, to do that is just so disrespectful. I can't say it enough. And um, I'm sad that he would say something like that, but my people are strong people and we are proud people and um, we will continue to continue to grow. You know, no matter what the country is going through right now, we will continue to grow. We haven't fallen off the planet. We've been free since the year 1804 when we claimed, when we took our freedom so it's not a question of oh like they're gonna disappear off of the face of the map no I'm not a uh, like well versed in political science like I don't know all the ins and outs of how policy works and when it comes to politics and things like that what I'm talking about is just being disrespectful to a whole group of people and it all happens to be a group of people that are all of color 
So to my brothers and sisters from Haiti, the Haitian people, to Salvador, El Salvadorians, to all the different countries in Africa that he was um, directing his his hatred towards, we together in you know together we form a great unity. We contribute great things to this country, and we should just, um, as they say, uh, let it roll like water off of a duck's back. Because you know his disrespectfulness is not going to stop us from being great. Um, with that being said, that's all the opinion that I have on the topic. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like. If you don't, that's fine too. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And um, hit the bell to get notification for when I post a new video. Um, once again, uh, thank you in advance for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye.